Hello everybody. Today we shall study the development of embryo. In the last class we have studied the development of endosperm. After fertilization, as we have learned that the embryo sac contains only the oospore and the triploid primary endosperm nucleus. All the other contents, the synergids, antipodal cells, they disintegrate or degenerate. The triploid primary endosperm nucleus it divides and re-divides into endosperm. Whereas the oospore, the zygote, it divides and re-divides to form the embryo. The main structure is the embryo within the development of the endosperm embryo or in post fertilization changes because embryo is the miniature plant or it is the structure which develops into a new plant so today we shall study how this embryo develops from the zygote the zygote or oospore it begins to develop initially after the development or development of few cells of endosperm. The endosperm develops first and after the development of few cells of endosperm, the zygote begins to develop or oospore begins to develop because the developing oospore it requires food and the nutrition is supplied by the endosperm developing endosperm so therefore endosperm develops before and soon after initial development of endosperm the oospore consumes it utilizes the developing endosperm for its nourishment and it also now begins to develop which later ultimately forms the embryo. The oospore first of all divides into two unequal cells by transverse cell division. The plane of division here is also important. The first division in the oospore is the transverse division, mitotic division where the diploid oospore forms two unequal cells the lower one the lower is attached to the embryo sac the one which is attached in the embryo sac is the lower one the lower one or the basal one forms the suspension initial and the upper or present at the tip forms the embryonal initial now this lower suspension initial cell which is attached to the embryo cell it now divides few times into 6, 7, 8, 9 cells the variation is there but generally the cells do not exceed more than 10 so such kind of transverse division takes place in this cell the suspensor cell it divides and re-divides for few cell divisions forming a row of cells and this row of cells are now called as the cells of suspensor this is suspensor initial it divides and re-divides to form 7 8 cells which is now called as suspensor the lower most cell of the suspensor is enlarged 
and attached in the module to the ampere sac. This lower most cell is called as hostorium. This hostorium, if the receives the food from the endosperm and maliciously developing embryo. The basal mouse cell, the enlarged basal cell attached is called as the hostorium, whereas the uppermost cell present at the tip of the suspensor is called as hypophysis. The development of this suspensor pushes the embryo deep into the endosperm. So, in the development of the embryo, the suspensor is formed. This is the suspensor. This suspensor pushes the embryo. This is suspensor. This is embryo proper. It grows and pushes the embryo proper into deep into the embryo sac. And now the embryo is surrounded by or on all sides by endosperm. This is endosperm and this is the embryo. The upper embryonal initia now divides three times to form an octant embryo or octant pro embryo. So, first the embryonal initial divides once to form two cells, the two cells again divide to form four cells, the four cells again divide to form. Eight cells. So one, two, three, all the three regions are here, right angles to one another. It means the divisions are vertical. So the type of division is important. The first division in the transfer uh, in the whose spore is by transfer cell division to form two. Cells, suspension initial and embryonal initial. Later, the suspension initial divides few times to form an elongated long suspensor. The lowermost cell is hypostorium, uh, and the tip of the suspensor is called hypophysis. Whereas the embryonal initial it divides three times. First division, two cells are formed. With the second division, four cells are formed, and with the third division, eight cells are formed, and all the three divisions in the embryonal initial successive three divisions are at right angles to one another. Can be also said that uh, said that the vertical divisions are take place, and an octant pro embryo or embryo is formed. Now this octant embryo here we see. Only four cells, one, two, three, four cells. But we call it as octant. Octant, the word means eight cells are there. Now, how to assume eight cells here? Four cells are towards the uh, facing towards the uh, camera, whereas the other four cells are towards the opposite side, back side. What you can see here are the four cells. And the other four cells are towards the back side, which we have to assume. And in all, octant embryo is formed. The octant embryo then grows or develops into the embryo. First of all, a hard shaped, more or less a hard shaped embryo is formed, and later on it develops into a horse shoe shaped embryo. In the octant embryo, the cell divides in many planes, many different divisions takes place, many different structures are formed during the cell division, during the process of the development. 
to remember some basics of the development of embryo we can say that the lower four is to and other two on the other side the four lower tire cells they divide and we divide later on to form the radical and the hypopotai whereas the four tire of the tip of the octant embryo the lower four they develop into radical and the hypopotai whereas the upper four of the octant embryo they divide and we divide to form the cotyledon and the plumule during the course of development of the embryo many different types of cell division take place but to remember in general the lower four divide to form radical and hypopotai whereas the upper four from the octant embryo they divide and we divide to form cotyledon and plumule and in the course of the development of the horse shoe shaped dicot embryo initially the embryo assumes the shape more or less a heart shaped structure later this heart shaped structure develops into a horse shoe shaped structure where we can see that the two cotyledons are bent towards one side assuming a horseshoe shape like structure some part of the radical is also formed from the uppermost cells of the tip of the uh, suspensor called as hypophysis so some of the cells are formed from the radical some of the cells are formed from the hypophysis and in this way the complete development of the endosperm takes place so the embryo takes place in dicotyledonous plants in case of monocotyledonous plants the development of embryo is the same until an octant embryo is formed the further development from the octant embryo takes place in a different way because in monocotyledons there are there is only one cotyledon here there are two cotyledons whereas in case of monocotyledonous seeds there is only one cotyledon for hence the development turn stages the developmental stages from the octant embryo up to the formation of the uh, adult embryo the stages differ the structures are also a little different here in dicot two cotyledons are formed in monocots only one single shield shaped cotyledon is formed here the radical and plumule are not protected by extra structures in case of dicots whereas in monocots the radical is protected or covered by a structure called as polyoptile and the plumule in case is covered by polyorhiza so the development of dicot and monocot embryo 50% in the initial stages is same and the later 50% differs the details of all the structures is not required for our study thank you